Okay? And now we go to the main lesson. But again, there, is a, there are two nouns we are being introduced by Dr. Abdurrahim. Now, the, there are five nouns in Arabic language. Uh, brothers and sisters, are you listening to me? When they become mudaf, their spelling rules are different. Huh? When they become mudaf, their spelling rules are different. Five of them. Now, we are going to learn slowly, slowly. So, Dr. Abdurrahim is introducing two of them. Huh? Okay, and I will explain you because it is in the, in the, in the lesson. So, I will try to, inshallah, explain you better. What is this, brother? Abun. Is it definite, indefinite? It is indefinite. How do I make it definite? Al-Abu. Sahih? Now there is another noun. Akhun. Definite, indefinite? And then Al-Akhu. Definite. Okay? Now when you put Damir into them, with them, when you put Damir with them, normally as we did here, we just put Kitabuhu. So I would normally make it Akhuhu or Abuhu. Normally. Huh? Like Kalamuhu, Kitabuhu, Baituhu. But not in the case of the two nouns. Huh? They will change into what will happen? Wow came out. Are you with me? Wow came out. Huh? So now, if you want to say his father, you will say Abu Hu. Her father, Abu Ha. Huh? Your father, Abu Ka. Your father, Abu Ki. My father, Abi. In that case, Ya will do the job. Our father, Abuna. How will I write down Abuna? Wow will come out. Wow huh? will come out. Except for Ya Mutakallim, in all 13 pronouns, Wow will come out. And same thing will happen to Ahu. How do you write his brother? Huh? This is wrong. These are wrong, brother. How will you write down? Ahu. Now we have to remember this rule. We will learn in detail. There are only five nouns in which this thing happens. Okay? But these are the two most popular nouns. So you see, Dr. Saab, Dr. Abdurrahim is introducing to us. Now, when you say Akhuhu, it is Mudaf, Mudafili. Are you with me? Mudaf, Mudafili. And if you say Akhuha, her brother. Akhuka, Akhuki, Akhuna. Okay, brother and sister? Well, how will you translate Akhuna? Our brother. Huh? Our brother. And brother Ahu is Mudaf and then Mudaf. Mudafili. Now this vow only comes when Ahu and Abu come as a Mudaf. Will you please remember? They, the vow will come when the Ahu and Afu come as a Mudaf, not otherwise. Yes, yes. You are right. Or even a noun is John. How would you write down Abu Muhammadin? How would you write down Abu Muhammadin? Wow huh? will come out. Are you with me? Why? Because Abu now came as a Mudaf. How would you write down Muhammad's brother, Akhu Muhammadin? Again, wow will come out. Are you with me? Wow will come out. So whenever brother Abdul Samad, whether it is the pronoun 
or it is a noun, vow will come out. Huh? Only when abu and aku become mudaf. Huh? Now also we have one very nice thing to remember today, brother. What is this? Ismun, name. Huh? If I say to you, huh? make a mudaf mudaf ilay, how will you say? Ismuhu. Ismuhu. Her name, Ismuha. Your name, Ismuka. And uh, f feminine, Ismuki. Huh? And then my name, Ismi. Only five. Don't use plurals with them because then it will make many changes, you know. Because if you say Ismuna, that is wrong. You will have to say Asmauna. Huh? So write down, I mean, make uh, a note of it that for our next lesson, we are using five pronouns, Ismuhu, Ismuha, Ismuka, Ismuki, and Ismi. Huh? Five pronouns. Are you with me? What are they, brothers and sisters? If I say Ismuhu, Mudaf, Mudaf. If I say Ismi, Mudaf, Mudaf. And I will, I always tell students, break it. See what's inside. So if I say to you, how many words are there? How many words, Brother Hassan? Two. What are those? Asam and, and pronoun. And pronoun. Are you with me? So it's me, is one. And Yamuta Kalam is truly speaking, it is Ismu. Are you with me? But why can't I see the Dhamma? Because Yamuta Kalam won't allow me. Very stubborn. Always Kasra. Huh? And then how we do analyze? There is a beautiful way of analyzing. But I won't tell you now. Because I have to be very careful. I have to watch your digestion system, your digestive system. <laughs> I don't want you to get indigestion. Okay. So inshallah, keep this in mind, brothers and sisters. Uh, there are many things inshallah we'll do and we will s start talking also a little bit. Huh? Simple sentence. Huh? Lesson number 10. Adarsul Ashiru. Do not analyze questions, only statements. Hamid. Mananta. What is the meaning of it? Who are you? And if I have to say to a lady, what will I say? Mananti. Are you with me? Mananti, who are you? Huh? And Muhammad replies, Ana Talibun. Bil Jamiyati. Okay, now I will analyze. What is Ana? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Talibun. And what is Bil Jamiyati? Khalas. Nothing more. Huh? Okay. And you know, I would recommend you huh, from this lesson onwards, huh, with your pencil, you can underline something and you can put a line to separate Muftada khabar. So after <coughs> Ana, I put a line, so the Muftada is on one side. And then make Talibun a circle and put Jar Majur under line. Because when you put a circle, from now onwards that circle is your khabar. Are you with me? Put Ana, one line, that is your Muftada, and then put Talibun into a circle. So what is that? Your khabar. And then build Jamiyati put underline. So what is that? Yeah, Jar Majru. Inshallah, that way you will uh, master it. Brothers and sisters, you know, till the end of my book one, I wasn't sure whether to give a noun Kasra or Dhamma or Fata. I wasn't sure. Not comfortable. You know, I was guessing all the time. But once you have this knowledge, then you will never make a mistake. You will never make a mistake, inshallah.
Okay. Now, if I were to ask Sister Selma, Man Auntie, what will she say to me? Using the same sentence, Ala, Ana, Talibatun. Huh? What will you say? Ana, Talibatun. That will be the only change. Huh? That will be the only change. Ana, Talibatun, Biljamia will remain same. So when you have Muannas, you just add Tamarbuta. Fine, brother. Anta Talibun Jadidun. Naam. Ana, Talibun Jadidun. So put, put line after Ana, and then Talibun is your Khabar, and Jadidun is your Naat. Suppose if Sister uh, Naima was to answer, what will she say? Ana, Talibatun Jadidatun. Got the idea, brother? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Min aina anta? No, this is a question you will be asked many times in your life. Min aina anta? From where are you? Huh? Ana min al Hind. Huh? Or you will say, Ana min Canada. Okay? Ana min Canada. So, what is, where is our Muftada? Ana. Where is your khabar? Min, min al Hind. Put a circle. Now put a circle. You, why will you put a circle now? Because it is your khabar. Jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. Jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now comes the question. Masmuka. What is ismuka there? Mudaf mudaf ilahi. See, we got to immediately come up with a quick answer. What is ismuka? Mudaf mudaf ilahi. Now, brother, what is the answer? Ismi Muhammadun. Now you tell me where is Mubtada? Ism only, which is actually Ismu. Huh? You will say Ism is your Mubtada. Wahua Mudaf. And where is Mudaf Ilahi? Ya Mutakalam. Khalas. You know? And where is, what is Muhammad? So put a circle in Muhammad. So that. For you, this is your sign that this is your khabar. Circling, we are circling the khabars. Okay. Now comes here another sentence. Man hadal fatal ladi maaka. Who is this young fellow who is with you? Brother, this is a question. We are not going to analyze, but I will pick up some words. What is maaka? With you, very good. Now analyze. Zarf and mudafili. Brother, alhamdulillah. It gives me such a great pleasure when you are answering. I am thrilled with your answers, you know. Because it makes me happy that the concept is uh, getting roots in your hard drive. <laughs> in your mind, inshallah. And once you have this concept in your mind, brother, the book, books, all these three books will become easy for you. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy it, you know, and cherish it. Huh? Okay? So, maka is your zarf and mudafilihi. Okay? And what is this, brother? Okay, what is alladhi ismu mausula? Khalas. I want you to remember it is ismu mausula. Fine. Okay. What is the answer? Who are Zamili. He is my colleague. Huh? He is my class fellow. Are you? Whether where is Mufdra? Fine, put a line. Huh? Oh, where is your khabar now? Zamil. So it should be Zamilu. Huh? Remember, khabar is marfu. Why there is a kasra? Because it's near. Yeah, pull it down. MashaAllah. But Abdul Samit will become a good teacher. <laughs> MashaAllah. But I, I, I dream, you know. No harm in dreaming, brother. I dream that, inshallah, in the next five to ten years, we will have hundreds of people teaching everywhere in the city. And you will be, uh, stand up and teach, inshallah. All of you, huh? you will become teachers. Because we should now understand Quran. 
Huh? When we read it or when we hear it, brother. When we say our salah, we must know what we are saying, brother. Huh? It's very important. Huh? And once you reach that stage, it will change your life. It will bring, you know, untold happiness. Immense happiness in your life. Huh? Fine, brother. So, zami lu huh, is put a circle. Don't put a circle with ya. Remove ya. Got the idea? Sister Naima? Inshallah. Ahuwa Aidan Minal Hindi. What is Aidan? Also. Is he also from India? La. Huwa Minal Yabani. What is Huwa, brother? Muptada. Where is your khabar? Under circle it. Minal Yabani. So, Jar Majroor. Shibu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Excellent. Excellent. Masmuhu. What is Ismuhu? Mudaf. Mudafili. What is his name? What is the answer? Ismuhu. What is Ismuhu? Mudaf. Mudafili. So where is our Muptada? Ismu. Wa huwa Mudaf. And who? Mudafili. Because who is Majroor? Mudafili. And where is the Khabar? Hamza too. Huh? Why there is a single Dhamma there? It's a diptot. MashaAllah, you will understand. Single Dhamma, diptot. Huh? It declines, but does not decline fully. Ma lugatuka ya Muhammad. Ma lugatuka ya Muhammad. What is your language? Huh? See, now you are understanding and uh, uh, translating. Alhamdulillah. Lugatuka. What is Lugatuka? Muda. Muda filahi. Got the idea? Huh? See, there is a pronoun joined with a noun. Are you with me? When the pronoun joins a noun, you get Muda. Muda filahi. Got the idea? Fine. So, what is the answer? Logati. Logati al urdiyatu. Al urdiyatu. Okay? Where is muda uh, where is muptata? Logatu. Huh? Okay? And ya mutakalam is mudafili. Logatu is your brother. Why I'm saying logatu? Because muptata is always marfu. You see kasra, it is the fault of Ya Mutakal. Yes. So Lugatu, it is your Muptada, Wahua Mudaf, and then Mudaf. And where is the Khabar? When I told you, brother, most of the time Khabar is, Khabar is indefinite, but sometimes it is definite. Now here, Khabar comes as a definite. Where is the Khabar? Al Urdiyatu. Al Urdiyatu. Do you see it is Marfu? Because khabar is always, if it is one word, if the khabar is one word, it will be marfu. It will be marfu. Fine. Ahiya lugatun sahlatun. Brother, tell me quickly. Lugatun sahlatun. Naat manud. What is it? Naat manud. Huh? Brother Salman, are you with me, brother? Not, where is not? Sahalatun. Where is Manut? Lugatun. Very good. Naam. Here. Muptada. Lugatun. Khabar. Put a circle. Huh? And what is Sahalatun? Naat. Huh? You can underline it. Only you will circle the news. Predicate. Khabar. Very good. Wa Hamza too. And Hamza. Ma lugatuhu. See, lugatuhu mudaf mudaf ilihi. What is the answer? Lugatuhu al yabaniyatu. So, where is muptada? Lugatu. Wahuwa mudaf. And who? Mudaf ilihi. Where is the khabar? Yabaniyatu. Put a circle. Huh? So that you know it is your. Khabar. Very good, brother. Wahia and Ataf. Hiya. Muftada. Oh, where is the Khabar? 
logatun. Again, circle logatun. Huh? And what is the next word? Sahabatun. Difficult. Not. Very good word. Okay. And next to it, under the Japanese language, something is written. Al logatul yabaniyatu. What kind of a grammar value we can give it? Nath manut, mashallah. It is nath and manut. Where is nath? Al yabaniyatu. Nath always comes after in Arabic. And where is manut? Al logatul. Mashallah, mashallah. Al logatul, not al logatul, right? No, make it al logatu, another typo. Brother, those publishers should pay us for catching their typos. You know, there are too many typos. Okay, fine. Now look at Abuka. Why it is wow there? Because it is mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? Aina Abuka ya Muhammad. Where is your father, O Muhammad? What is the answer? Abi. Uh, my father is Phil Kuwaiti. Okay, brother, where is Mubtada? Abu. Abu. Huh? Mudaf. And what is Ya Mutakalim? Mudaf Ilehi. Got the idea? Abi because of Ya Mutakalim. If there was no Ya Mutakalim, it would be Abu. Okay. Huwa Mubtada. What is Tabi? Khabar and Shahirun Naat. So, brother, Tabibun circle it and Phil Kuwaiti circle it. Huh? For your uh, ease and understanding. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I, I recommend that you have a nice pencils and nice highlighters, huh, brother, to, to differentiate between different uh, words in the sentence. Now, let me again tell you something more, brother. Lesson number 10 is a combination of everything that we have done before. So it's not difficult, except few new things will come out, okay? Mostly we are learning about, brother, we are mostly we are learning here, the joining of pronouns with nouns. We are learning joining of pronouns with nouns. Fine. Vaina ummuka. What is ummuka? Mudaf mudafilehi. Mudaf mudafilehi. Vaina ummuka. Hiya aidan. Brother, hiya mubtada. Aidan, just write down also. We won't analyze this. But do you see what I see? Aidan? No, aidan is not harfshar. Had it been harfshar, I would have told you. Look at aidan in what? It's mansu. You got to know that it's mansu. Huh? And why it is Mansu, we will learn later on. Huh? So, at least you figured out that Aidan is Mansu. Huh? You figured out because you saw Tanween Fata there. Fine. Who are Aidan? Phil Kuwaiti. So, so Phil Kuwaiti, you can take it as your khabar. Circle it. Then what is Ma? Zar. Uh, where is Mudaf Ilehi? Abi without ya. Two. Huh? See, now I write down, huh, brother. I will write down. If you can understand this, brother, what shall I say? Alhamdulillah. You are doing very well. Huh? You are really on the right track. And you are understanding. Your understanding is good. Alhamdulillah. Huh? And you know, when you, we do, we come to about the first lessons of book three, you will be able to see Quran and figure out many things. And it will amaze you. I met a student yesterday. I had a class in uh, uh, Stowville. Huh? And she said, you know, Brother Asif, I memorized Surah Waqiyah. And I analyzed it. <laughs> And once you analyze and understand, memorization becomes easy. I said, uh, Sister Khalida, when did you memorize? Sitting in the office, I memorized sentence by sentence. Alhamdulillah. It becomes easy. Not only it becomes easy, 
it becomes enjoyable. Otherwise, you sit and memorize something you don't understand. It's, it's not very uh, enjoyable, brother. You are forcing yourself to memorize. Okay, ma'a. Abi. I want you to tell me how many words are there. Three. No, in this whole thing. Three, mashallah. See, you know there are three words. Huh? What is it, brother? Ma'a. Ab, abu, mash. No. Ma'a will make it abi. Huh? Mudafile. Huh? And then? Ya mudafile. So how do I analyze? Ma'a, zar. Abi, mudafile. Wahua mudaf. And then ya mutakalimah. In the end, we will have a chain of mudaf and mudafile. Again, one more time. Ma'a Zarf Abi Mudafili And then Huwa Huwa Mudaf And then Ya Mutakalab Finally Mudafili Got the idea? Inshallah That is beautiful brother Inshallah Yes No sister Okay let me write down now Again in a In a, in a nice way Huh? Okay, what is this, brother? Zarf. What is this? Mudaf Ilehi. Okay. Is there something after that? Yamu. Is that a nat? No, it is not a nat. Sometimes nat can come. It is not nat. So then I will say, what is the meaning of plus? Wahua. Huh? What is it? Wahua? Mudaf. And then what is this? Mudaf. Are you with me? Did you get it? Yeah. Write it down like this. The noun came after zarf, it's mudaf ilayhi. Huh? Okay, see sister uh, Salma, noun came after zarf, it's mudaf ilayhi. But then abhi itself is mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Huh? Write it down like this, inshallah you will understand. Okay, here, Mubtada, Mudarri Satun, put a circle. What is the meaning of circle? Khabar. And what is Hunaka? Zarf. Zarfu Makan. And see, after Hunaka, there is no Mudafile. So sometimes Zarf will come on their own. Azabta huh? al Kuwaiti ya Muhammad. Did you go to Kuwait, O oh Muhammad? What is the answer? Okay. Brother, do you have any difficulty in understanding Zahabta, Zahabtu? Huh? Do you have any? Why? Because we practiced. <laughs> we practiced, brother. We practiced. Huh? So you, this, this Zahabtu is not a strange word. It is a familiar word. Okay. See, now you can ask huh, uh, to anybody... Salma, Hal Zahabti Ila Montreal? Nam? Say Nam. And what will your answer? Zahabtu. I went. Are you with me? Huh? If I ask you, Brother Hassan, Hal Zahabta Ila New York? Nam. Zahabtu. Khalas. That's the way. You'll, you'll use your verbs with different. Uh, uh, different uh, pronouns depending on uh, how do you want to answer. Okay. Now I uh, answer. Hal zahaba abuka ila New York? Did your father go to New York? Naam. So what will your answer? He went. So what will your answer? Zahaba. <laughs> Naam, Zahaba means event. See, this is the way you will make your own sentences, inshallah. And we will, inshallah, practice in the class also. Very good, brother. Wa Zami Luka. See, what is Zami Luka? Mudaf, Mudafile. What is the translation? And your colleague. Aina Abuhu. Translation only, brother. Where is his father? 
What is the answer? Abu Hu. Now you see here, you can see properly Abu. Abu Hu fil Yabani. So, brothers and sisters, what will you do now? Abu Hu. Abu Muqtada huwa mudaf hu mudaf ilayhi and fil yabani put a circle what is it jarun majrurun shubu jumla khabar huwa tajirun kabirun what is huwa where is the khabar put a circle so from now onwards by putting circle you will know it is your khabar. And what is kabirun? Naat. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Now comes our jar majroor that we learned this morning. Laka. Alaka akhun ya Muhammad. Alaka akhun ya Muhammad. What is the meaning of this? Do you have a brother? Laka means for you. But we will not literally translate it. We will say, do you have a brother? If you literally translate it, then is there a brother to you? <laughs> is there a brother to you? No, do you have a brother? Okay. What is the answer? Naam. Li. Akhun. Wahidun. What is this brother? Li. Jar Are you with me? What is Li? Jar, how many words are there? Two. Two. Harf, Jar, Li, and Ya Mutakalam. Remember, huh? Inshallah. See? Now we learn another rule. Maybe I have told you. But we will learn now, brothers and sisters. The rule is, brother, <coughs> that jar majroor or zarf and mudafilehi. What did I say? Jar majroor and zarf and mudafilehi. They will never, ever, ever, ever be mubtada. Even they come in the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Jar majroor huh? or zarf. Wa mudaf ilayhi will never, 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 ever be mubtada. Are you with me? Will never, ever be mubtada. If they come in the beginning of the sentence, brothers and sisters, you can write down. If they come in the beginning of the sentence, then they are most of the time khabar. Are you with me? Most of the time khabar. So khabar comes in the beginning. What is it, brother? Khabar comes in the beginning. When the khabar comes in the beginning, it is quite, most of the time, the muftada will be indefinite. What will be muftada? It will be indefinite. I will repeat again. Jar majroor, sister Arifa, jar majroor, and Zarf and mudafilehi can never be mubtada. And if they come in the beginning of the sentence, they are coming as a khabar. Huh? Okay? And then, and the mubtada uh, will be indefinite. Okay. This is how I used to explain in the class. Okay, brother, it is a class time. So, Muptada and Khabar started from the home. Huh? 
Muptada and the khabar started from the home. Muptada is indefinite. And khabar is jar majur. So they are both coming to the class. On the way came Tim Horton. And Muptada said, I must have my fix of donut and coffee. Oh khabar, you carry on. I will follow you. Jar Majroor comes in the class early and takes the place in front of the sentence. And where is Muptada? Still in Tim Horton. He's coming. <laughs> so he comes late in the sentence. Are you with me? No, brother, these are the things you will understand very soon, inshallah. If I tell you, Fil Baiti Rajulun. Huh? Fil Baiti. Fil Baiti. Rajulun. Are you with me? Fil Baiti. Rajulun. What is Fil Baiti? It is coming in the beginning. Can I say Muftida? No way. Char Majroor can never be Muftida. So it is now Khabar. We call it Khabar Mukaddam. Huh? You have to write down. You can write down. But later on you will become very... You. And Muftida Muakhar. Late Latif. Why he came late? He, he stopped for <laughs> coffee. <laughs> you know? Are you with me? Tim Horton, brother. <laughs> Always fresh. <laughs> okay. Are you with me? Now make this Muptada Rajulun definite. What will you say now? Ar Rajulu Filbaiti. Now you cannot say other. If you say Rajulun Filbaiti, it will be wrong. Huh? Rajulun Filbaiti is wrong. Filbaiti. Filbaiti Rajulun. There is a man in the house. A man in the house. But in the Quran we get our examples. The most beautiful example. We are ready to take it. Because now you will understand. Huh? Are you ready brothers and sisters? I will give you an example from the Quran. See, this is a sentence. We read it all the time. Now we can analyze, brother. Huh? Huh? How, how beautiful, brother. It, you will you'll feel a special joy in your heart. Huh? Now it makes it so beautiful. And when you hear it, you are understanding Arabic directly. And you are tasting the words. Fee. What is fee, brother? Harchar. And then fee made kulubun itru kulubi. Huh? Fi harchar isim majru wa huwa mudaf and then mudafile. See, because of B it became M. <laughs> because of B it became M. So how will I write if what if I were to analyze it in a simple way, brother? Harfjar and then kulub isim majru. Then then I say. And what is this? Mudafilehi. So where is your khabar now? Huh? Maradun is khabar? So where is Mubtada? Fi Kulubi. This is your This is your khabar. You know what is the khabar? Jarun Majrurun. Shibu Jumla, Khabar Mukaddam. What happened to Maradun? He stayed for coffee. Stayed for coffee. <laughs> so see, Maradun. Now it is your Muptida. Why? Because it is indefinite. See, the grammar of Arabic language comes from the Quran. Huh? Incredible, brother. Nothing in the last 1400 years. Nobody has produced anything which can equal Quran. It is 
at the summit of eloquence uh, and beauty. Uh, summit so high, nobody can reach it. And we will not feel it unless we learn the language. More example, brother. Now, I think you are ready. Uh, are you enjoying it, brother? Uh, everybody? Uh, now I'll write on more. Uh, and we are going to analyze it, brother. This is a new sentence. If I make a mistake, sometimes, you know, uh, we read Quran, but when you try to write it, you get confused. Khatam huh? Allahu. Wa. And then I'm, I'm, I'm writing separately, yeah? so that it makes it easy. Are you with me, brother and sister? Lahum Azabun I think there's a wall there. Wow. Okay, brothers. Now you in in two weeks time you have learned enough. Inshallah. Did I make a mistake, Sister Zukaina? Sorry, I beg your pardon. In two, two weeks, in eight sessions, we have learned enough, inshallah. We can understand this. Brother Khatama, what is Khatama? Zahaba, Jalasa, Raja'a, what is Khatama? What is Zahaba? Fear, not fahir. What is it? See, no, see, I told you the three letter verbs, inshallah, you will be able to recognize them. So Khatama is like Jalasa. Zahaba, Kharaja, Kataba, Sajada. So Khatama is Fial Mahdi. It is Mahdi. Brother, we need sisters, we need file. Where is file? And file has to be Marfu. Allah. So Allah has sealed. Or Allah has put a seal. Where? Allah. What is Allah? Harchal. And what is Kulubi? Isam Majru. Wahua mudaf and whom mudaf then waw ataf ala harjal and then samai see samau became samai abasa abasarun became abasari samaun became samai because they are coming as a mudaf ah mudaf also so ala harjal samai isam majrur wahua mudaf and whom? Mudafile. Mashallah. And then wall ataf. Now, brother, look at this sentence very properly. Huh? Because right now, what we are learning is this. This is a jumla failure. We are mostly now learning jumla ismiya. Huh? But this is jumla failure. But this is a very simple and beautiful example of jumla failure. That everybody knows. Huh? Everybody knows this verse. So we can say this is Jumla failure. Okay, brother. Allah. Huh? And what is Absari? Isam Majroor. Wahuwa? Mudaf. And where is? Mudaf. Can I call this Muptada? No. No. Because Jar Majroor Zarf. They can never ever be Muktada. 
if they come, they will come as a khabar. So brother, Allah Abu Sari is your khabar. Shibu Jumla, Char Majroor, Khabar Mukaddam. Okay, where is our Muftada? Gishawatun. Why brother Gishawatun? Indefinite. It's marhu. She Gishawatun stayed for a coffee. So it came late. Are you with me? Now what is it? Wa. Ata. Lahum. Jar Majroor. Can it be Muftada? No. So Jar Majroor has to be Khabar. Huh? Jar Majroor has to be Khabar. And then, brother, what is Azabun? Muqtada. Muqtada. And what is Azim? Naat. See? Do you feel it, brother? You analyze a Quranic verse. Huh? Lahum Jarun Wa Majroor. Azabun Muqtada. Naat. Now, because we are in this momentum, I want to continue and give you one more ayah, brother. How many times do you say? Almost every day, or very often. Lakum dinukum. Now you have to see. There is no verb in it, huh? And I and see here. I said jumla failure, but starting from here, it became jumla ismia, and this is also jumla ismia, and this I will call jumla ismia. Huh? What is what is lakum, brother? Jar Majroor. It has come in the beginning. Can it be Muptada? No. no. So where is Muptada? You, you are saying it right. You are, you are 98% you are saying right. Dinu. Muptada. Marfu, brother. It has to be Marfu. So you must say Dinu. Huh? You must say Dinu. Huh? So, brother, lakum is, what is lakum? Jarun wa majroorun, shibu jumla, khabar. And where is our muqtada? Deenu, wa huwa mudaf. And kum, mudaf ilahi. And then, wa, ataf. And what is next one? Jar majroor. Can it be muqtada? No. No. Huh? Can, it cannot be muqtada. So, it is jar majroor. Li, how many words in li? Two words. Harfjar and Ya Mutakaram. This is Allah says. Huh? To, this is said to the Kufar. When they tried to, uh, Rasul Salaam was extremely tired. And sometimes uh, he was in great distress. And he used to feel that maybe I am not doing my job well. Because people are not listening to me. Brother, in 10 years of his struggle in Makkah, only 150 or so people became Muslim. The Islam, truly speaking, uh, the, 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 the force of Islam started after Hijrah. Uh, but in Makkah, too many problems. Okay? And then the Kufar came with suggestion. You know, we are ready to accept your, what you are saying, but you make some concessions, you know. Sometimes you allow us to worship this, or you also worship, we, then we will worship your Lord, and you worship our Lord. And this kind of a uh, suggestion came. Rasul said, maybe, maybe I should compromise. But then Allah said, no. 